All right, Oval fans, hope everybody's doing well. Now, in the preview for next week, we know that Barry's going to be in the hospital along with his parents, but I wanted to talk about the other patient we have. Now, don't worry, I got an entire video talking about the ridiculousness of Sh Sharon being in the hospital despite them being three hours away from D.C., but again, that'll be its own separate video. This one is due to the fact that Kareem pulls out a ring and it looks like he's going to propose to Sharon right there on the spot. Now, to be completely honest, uh, at least unlike Aaron or sisters, he's not just saying, hey, Karen, let's get married, but there's no ring involved. Kareem, he came prepared. So you don't give your employees health insurance, but you can afford an engagement ring. Okay, now let me just say it this way. There are a couple things about this. Either he's doing this out of desperation in order to kind of beat Barry to the punch because maybe deep down he knows that this whole thing with Sharon isn't going to last. It isn't long term because of how wishy-washy Sharon is. On the flip side though, maybe it's a situation where it's like, hey baby, Sharon, after what happened, I almost lost you tonight. Life is too short. I don't want to wait another minute. Let's get married right now. That's another possibility. But I'm going to be completely honest here. I'm going to I'm going to somewhat assume here, or hyper, you know, hypothesize. Sharon says no, and then Kareem's going to be a dick about it because that's literally how Kareem is. Where if Sharon doesn't do what he wants to do at that very moment, he acts like an asshole. Now, granted, sometimes Sharon just acts in the heat of the moment, but then Kareem takes it too far in regards to. Well, hey, we just had sex together, so we're going to be together, right? You're going to live with me. To be honest, I'm not saying Sharon is a saint, but Kareem doesn't know how to take no for an answer. I mean, I'm in the midst of the Me Too Times Up movement. I'm surprised that he hasn't been hit with allegations of sexually harassing his employee every single day. That's literally it. Every time he goes up to talk with Sharon in the pharmacy, even if it's just like a... Uh, a uh, uh, a professional compliment hey great work today Sharon or you know thanks for stocking the shelves this or that and then all of a sudden he'll say something out of left field and then it's almost as if he's he's complimenting Sharon but then at the same time dogging Barry to make himself look like more of a man and then as a result he knows how to pick at her vulnerability so when she defends Barry and then also can tell when something's a little bit off about her about, oh, you've been crying, oh, you're upset. And then something doesn't seem right about this dude. He seems like the kind of guy, I mean, he says, oh, that's not my baby, but I'll take care of it. I'll take care of the child, this and that. So, I don't know. Something just doesn't feel right. And like I said before, a couple weeks ago, I said, if it was a situation where, let's say, Sharon ends up losing the baby in the car wreck or whatever or yeah after they get um in that car wreck situation it might be a situation where K uh, kareem could be on the verge of having sharon but then he'll say something like well it's a good thing you didn't end up carrying that bastard's baby to ruin it all i feel like kareem is the kind of guy where he could be winning but then he'll just say something he, he does it's like he doesn't quit while he's ahead and i feel like he's going to say or do something that's going to piss Sharon off. Here's another thing. I'm just going to theorize this. Let's say, for example, maybe she says yes to the proposal or something along those lines or in the middle of the proposal, Nancy, Richard, and or Dale stop by. Because remember, they know Sharon's in the hospital and they're going to be in the hospital too to check on Barry because, you know, of what happened with the Rackadooshi. I feel like they might come in and see how Sharon's doing and then Kareem's going to get pissed. And then from there, uh, hey, what are you doing here? Did you come all the way to see me again? That's sweet. Well, yeah, but unfortunately, something happened to Barry. What's wrong? I think in that moment, I feel like that's what's going to happen. Like, um, Sharon might be in the, uh, Kareem might be in the middle of the proposal, and then they'll get intruded on, and then her concern for Barry will interrupt his moment. Or maybe she accepts the ring, but then she lights up or you know just almost pops out of bed the moment she hears something about barry something happening to him and then kareem's when he get pissed off either way there's no 
I don't see Kareem not being an asshole. I mean, especially how he treated Nancy towards the end of uh, this week's episode. And like I said, that was one of my favorite Nancy moments when she put his ass in place. Because of the fact that, look, Nancy ain't do a damn thing to you, Kareem. If nothing else, I believe there was uh, one or two times where Nancy talked Barry down from starting more crap at your uh, pharmacy. I think it was when um, he found a pregnancy test and went down there and tried to confront Sharon. But then Nancy showed up and then stopped him from making a scene or starting another fight. So that poor woman has done nothing to you. Then on top of that, she's been um, allowing Sharon to stay at her house. So in a way, she's almost like an unofficial daughter. So she has every right to be concerned about Sharon. So shut up, you non-health insurance giving a uh, sexist boss because you know he's the boss of the you know pharmacy and whatnot so let me know your thoughts on the situation how do you think sharon's going to react to the proposal will she say yes will she say no will uh richard nancy or dale pop in and then let her know about barry and then now kind of uh interrupt the moment how do you think it's going to play out and i'm not going to do another video about the baby i've already done like one already so do you think she loses the child um as always make sure you take a moment to like and subscribe and with that being said i'll catch you all in the next video